Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to attempt to define ROS. This would probably come up if you're reading some of the studies relating to Alzheimer's or the benefits of ketosis. You might see ROS come up, and I just want to define it because it can be a little confusing, and um, in reality, it's pretty simple. Um, ROS stands for reactive oxygen species. Now, what the heck does that mean? So ROS can either be a free radical or a non-free radical involving oxygen. So this kind of, let's back up. What is a free radical? Uh, a normal atom has paired electrons. So if you have something that's paired, if you just kind of envision like a little disc and two little weights on the, on the outside that spin, it's going to be very symmetrical. Nothing's going to happen. It's real nice and smooth. But if you take one of those electrons out and you have an unpaired electron and it starts to spin or move, it can really be a radical and move in a radical way and create destruction because this does not have a paired electron, okay? So free radicals tend to uh, destroy things. Now, the body makes ROS. Also, ROS can be generated from the environment as well, coming into the body. But the question is, why would your body make something that's destructive? That's the question, and this will help you understand what it is. Well, there is a natural process, a natural program cell death in the body. It's called apoptosis. And apoptosis is a condition where your body is actually killing off certain cells. Now, you might say, well, that's a bad thing, but actually it's, a, it's essential for life, okay? Because your body has this urge to survive, so it's looking at the greater good. If there's certain uh, cells that are mutated, altered, they're dysfunctional, then the body has to get rid of them. And that's when it produces ROS. So ROS has the ability to eliminate certain things that we don't want in the body. And if that involves killing off certain mitochondria or whatever, um, that's a good thing. So even your white blood cells produce these to actually kill off microbes. That's how it dismantles certain viruses. So your body has this interesting balance between free radicals or oxidants and antioxidants. So your body can make antioxidants as well and you can get them environmentally. So you have this whole balance uh, that happens in the body. So whether you're exposed to a certain stress, they call it oxidative stress. So let's say you have a certain uh, metal in your body from iron and that created a mutation in your mitochondria. Well, your body would produce this to get rid of that. The body does not want mutated cells. Exposure to chemicals, UV radiation that would come from external, or exercise produces higher levels of ROS to actually uh, kill off the damaged uh, muscle cells that, are, that need to be replaced. Uh, and it's replaced by the stem cell, so it actually just grows back. Hypoxia, decreased oxygen, pollution, smoking, infection. So your body is constantly cleaning all this stuff up and replacing it. So this is a real positive thing. So you probably in your uh, house have hydrogen peroxide and you, you can put it on a a cut or a wound and see it uh, foam up because hydrogen peroxide is this and that actually helps to kill off certain microbes, okay? Same principle. What's really cool is that ketones reduce the excess ROS in the body. So ketones can act as an antioxidant and they protect the nerves. They're very neuroprotective. And this is why ketones are so good for the brain and high sugar diet or high carb diet is so terrible for the brain because it actually causes so much destruction um, and it leads to things like dementia and then eventually Alzheimer's. Anyway, I just wanted to explain what this is as simply as possible. Um, hopefully you understand it now and thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.